If you haven't watched my video about which 5 cars use some MY buying in Tesla's, please go check it out after this video. Hello everyone. Tesla has hundreds of vehicles available for purchase, and within a long list of cars, there are few that is superior than the others. Some have higher star rating, some has insane horsepower, and some has the highest top speed, which is unfortunately very useless in Tesla. Doesn't matter the looks of the cars, whether it be sedan, coupe, SUV, classic cars, muscle cars, supercars, or even a semi truck. The stats in dealership determines the usefulness in the world of Tesla's, and this might lead to some people making bad financial decisions, like for example, buying a van. Whoever bought this as their first car, consider yourself an op. If you had watched my video of which 5 cars you should not buy in Tesla's, you will know which cars you should stay away as far as possible. Unless you don't have anything else to buy, then you can buy them. But let's say you just start playing Tesla's with the knowledge I gave you from my last video, which cars soon you get to build your Tesla business. Not only they are essential for your growing Tesla business, but also it will be the only cars you will be driving for the rest of your life until you bought the next car. This meant choosing a right car is crucial to your success and your wealth in Tesla's. So in this video, I will give you five cars you must absolutely need to buy in Tesla Boss. Again, this video is made for me or player. Please share this around to your friend and family who just started playing Tesla Boss along with my last video. There will be a lot of glazing due to how good they are. And man, it really made me go <laughs> Starting with the first car you should buy as a new player is, of course, Mazda Miata. With only $4,000 and unlocked in level 3 office, which only took less than 10 minutes to reach the level, you can have a cool car with cute headlights, making this car very happy. It only has 3.3 space star rating and 4.5 max star rating, more amount of 129 horsepower and only only 197 kilometers per hour. And it seems like you gotta be trolling. There's no way this car is the one we should buy. It's worse than Toyota Sienna. I'm gonna buy that one anyway. Well, the only reason why Mazda Miata is the car you must buy is engine swap. That's why this car is the GO! Now, if you don't know what is engine swap in Tesla, allow me to explain to you how it works. There are a few cars in Tesla that has engine swap option under performance tabs while customizing the cars in garage. Inside engine swap, there's usually two or three engine options to choose from, including the original engine that gave huge performance boosts and changed the sounds of the car. Have a listen. For Miata, there are three engine options, 1.8 liter inline 4, 2JG GTE, JDM oh Fanboy Wet Dream, and V8 LS, an engine screams full American. The developers think it was a good idea and gives the most deadliest weapon to a Miata, which is V8 LS. With the horsepower figure to 460 horsepower and increased top speed to 257 kilometers per hour. Combine the power of turbo and tuning upgrade, the power will double to 864 horsepower and 268 kilometers per hour top speed. Miata is already as light as a feather with all this power under this poor little soul. This thing can get up to 60 miles per hour or 69 kilometers per hour in 1.2 seconds. Forget about electric cars, engine swap Mazda Miata swept them all. This makes Miata the cheapest car to get every platinum medals on every race, which you can get 4 cars for free, including Koenigsegg Jesko Attack, which is a better version than Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute because you don't have to pay $3.5 million and reach level 16 office, which is gonna took quite some time to achieve, and Porsche 911 Turbo S, equipped with GT Tech Body Kit and upgrade everything, it can increase up to 9.2 star rating with 1,200 horsepower and 341 kilometers, enough to travel through the streets of Tesla with 3 customers in your Porsche, which is an absolute bargain. After all, buy a Miata is to fully upgrade it and race the time trial across 7 different races and different lap variants. But I cannot get 10 platinum medals, it's so hard! You can change the tires to race tires to give the car more grip. But if that doesn't help you either, skill issues and device issue I guess, you probably need to redo the race over and over again to get better in driving and getting platinum medals along the way. I forgot to mention, the price you need to give Miata an energy swap and upgrade, Mazda Miata is cheaper than this thing. I didn't include luxury upgrade, but star rating means nothing where the sole purpose of Miata is to get 10 platinum medals, and this one can't even get near the gold medal. Like, come on brother, why did you buy this candy van? Either way, Mazda Miata is the car you must buy in test boss. You can get Konex and Jesco Attack and other 3 cars just with a cute little car. But let's say you are just bad at driving. 
you don't like Miata because I'm hunting you. This is where I will introduce to you Chevrolet Camaro ZL1. Unlock in level 9 office, which is fairly easy to reach even in starter cars, 6.5 stock star rating, 650 horsepower, and 310 kilometers per hour. All these features in price are $78,000 compared to non cars with similar star rating like Porsche Cayman, GT4 RS, and Audi RS7. There is no competition when it comes to pricing and performance. Plus, Camaro ZL1 has three passenger seats, which opens more opportunity to get more customers for more money. You might also ask, can this car get 10 platinum medals? Yes, it can. After upgrading it, <clears throat> it got 1,280 hot dogs under the hood and you can reach over 200 miles of cheese, brother. <laughs> God damn it. Getting platinum medal in every race is too easy for Chevrolet Camaro. Might as well give it the world at the medal. Not only that, 7.9 star rating is good enough to get high payoff customer like Rapper and Rockstar under a 0.0 star rating. If you don't like Miata or you just bad at racing, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 is the car made just for you. As you play test balls long enough, you might need a car with high star rating for not just your personal use, but also for company drivers. That's when luxury category comes into play. There are a few notable cars you should consider buying, such as Mercedes-Benz Winter Woman 6 Maybach Edition, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, Mercedes Maybach S680, Rolls-Royce Ghost, Rolls-Royce RAV, and Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Mercedes-Benz Winter Woman 6 is the earliest car you can get from level 11 office, and also the cheapest car from the luxury category, with the price of only $180,000. So I suggest you to buy this car before another 5 cars since you can get a lot of money per minute along with another cars you have given to your company drivers. Once you have earned over a million dollars, you can try buying cars like Maybach, Vision 6, and Bugatti and give it to your company drivers for maximum profit. Alternatively, if you don't have the money, you can replace cars I have just mentioned with another cars on luxury category. If you want to build your company driver's lineup and maximize the profit, luxury category is the place you should look at. Now you have played test balls without using Miata and just go attack, you want to complete level 16 office top speed requirement, but you don't have the cars with over 402 km per hour and you also doesn't have any money. Don't worry, I got you covered. This is SSC Ultimate Arrow. It has decent star rating of 6.8, over 1000 of horsepower and can hit 434 km per hour, exceeding the top speed requirement by 13 km per hour. With such performance comes with the cost. $800,000 is all you need for this car. If you don't have this amount, you will have to grind for a bit. It's cheaper compared to another cars like Hennessy Venom GT and Venom F5, and they are pretty much the same if not worse or better. So if you have trouble hitting 402 km per hour, just remember, you will need SSC Ultimate Arrow to do the job. And also you need to do this mission on highway loop so it will be much easier. And for the final cars you must buy in test box is a visor screen white. Okay, here we are. Konesek Gamera. It is without the doubt best cars in test box. The LeBron James of test box and the GOAT of test box. Konesek Gamera. Gamera is love. Gamera is life. Gamera is truth. When I saw the Gamera, I knew I had to buy it. When I acquired it, I was like a faucet and made the car color change to white. Never before has the car ever made me feel so special like Gamera made me feel. Gamera is love, Gamera is life, Gamera is truth. Oh my god, the screen is wild again! Everyone who owns this car can tell you how good this car is. Half a player on daily leaderboard use it. Almost everyone on top 10 leaderboard use it. Let me run you down the stats of this car. 8.4 star rating, 1700 horsepower, and 400 kilometers per hour. This is just the base stats. Combined with a hybrid entry swap, turbo upgrade, and tuning upgrade, this can go up to nearly 3500 horsepower and 411 kilometers per hour. With this horsepower figure, it accelerates from 0 to 100 km in 0.5 seconds, 200 km per hour in 1.5 seconds, 300 km per hour in 3.7 seconds, hitting the top speed at 7.25 seconds. A bit too fast for a family car. Not only that, the max star rating of Connexa Gamera is 9.6, and it has 3 passenger seats, good enough to deliver high payout customer like mayor and president. Instead, performance and exaggerated star rating makes Connexa Gamera the only cars you will drive for the rest of your life. Even if you don't have enough money to upgrade Gamera, its stock performance is still very really good, and it is still capable of delivering high payout customer. I would not recommend racing using Connexa Gamera, as it is very difficult to keep it on track due to high speed and it's very unnecessary. 
even though you can get fast time out of it. But even still, it is the GOAT of Tesla. You definitely need to buy Condenser Gamera because it's the best car you can buy. That's all for 5 cars you must buy in Tesla. I hope these cars will help you achieve your dreams as richest taxi entrepreneur. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I catch you in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, no.